Sights. Sights. Music in the morning. Music in the morning. Hey yo, welcome back. It's Ty Ty. So today we hopping in and I'm showing you my updated master plan chain. The 2.0. With these updates to the chain, I'm able to get a louder master without actually having to push the clipper and the limiter quite as hard. So let's go ahead and hop in and I'm going to break it down for you. Alright, so we got a song here that's actually going to be coming out as soon as I get some things situated with my Spotify account and all my other platforms. I went ahead and did a name change. So instead of Tai Tai 614, once everything is done, it's going to be under It's Tai Tai. I wanted to drop the 614, kind of simplify it a little bit. And I like that a lot better. It looks good wrote out too. So this is going to be coming out here soon. And uh, go ahead and give a little taste. This is with just the mix. These diamonds forever. Driving out Cleveland, stars on the ceiling. She must forever. Heat on the seat, down on my feet. Her booty up head. I'll come when I'm ready. So it sounded nice. Um, but obviously with the master, you bring a lot of polish to the picture. And uh, just kind of tone everything up, clean it up, bring it up in loudness so it's ready to drop on uh, all platforms. So what I went ahead and did here is I've seen a lot of videos where people were talking about running uh, maximizers at the beginning of their vocal chain. Um, I didn't really want to do that. Granted, they're only running uh, just enough to kind of catch the peaks. So what I did instead is so it wasn't quite that hard ceiling is went ahead and ran my T-Rex. And with this, you know, I got a very mellow slope on this. Um, you know, it's standard right here. I went ahead and bumped it up two notches and I set my output back to uh, negative one. And then uh, basically this is normally knocked back to about right here. So let's go ahead and I'll just kind of bring it up to catch some peaks and you'll see the gain reduction right there. These diamonds forever Driving up Cleveland stars on the ceiling She must forever Heat on the seat, down on my feet Her booty up petty I'll come when I'm ready Pay cash ain't no credit I'm in love with this petty So you could definitely push it harder than that But I'm barely just Removing any gain reduction there Not even a full DB um, Probably not even a half a DB But let me bypass back and forth and you can really hear the difference between the two. These diamonds forever. Driving out Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she must forever. Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up petty. I'll come when I'm ready. Pay cash ain't no credit. I'm in love with this petty. You talk about your ass, it was heaven. So obviously it brings a little bit of loudness to it. So then hopping down into my... Uh, my pull tech, you know, kind of basic same settings as I had on the other chain. You know, I'm giving a 1 dB boost in the 60 hertz range and then attenuating about just under a dB. Um, and then my high frequency, I'm hitting at a 12K, boost about 3.8, and then attenuating on this one uh, a little over 2. Now I'll go ahead and see... I'll toggle it back and forth. These diamonds forever. Driving out Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she must forever. Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up petty. I'll come when I'm ready. Pay cash ain't no credit. I'm in love with this petty. So you really hear the clarity that that brings to it? It's very powerful. And then with my Pro Q3, I have uh, some side information here that I'm doing a low pass on, about 96 hertz. Um, doing a boost on the side information. Uh, let's see here. Granted, you can switch that by just going in here, clicking side. And uh, I'm doing about 12, 12K, boost about 1.4 dB. And then I'm giving a stereo boost at about, uh, let's see here, uh, 2800 with not even a dB boost, like 0.72. Now one thing you can do too is uh, if you are kind of want to bypass some com combating frequencies around the 2500, well, 2500, 250 range, you can go ahead and give a little cut. And that will basically about a dB on that. And basically it kind of 
takes out some of those harsher frequencies and you're kind of tricking your ears so you're you're ducking there but you're boosting you know in the uh 2800 range 2500 kind of wherever you want to be on that just a slight boost with a slight cut if you kind of combine the two of those you can also achieve a little more loudness before you're even getting to your uh final limiting so then from there we're going into um the J37, it's the uh, tape emulator from Waves. Now you can use any type of saturation. I happen to go with the tape on this one on the sole fact of I just like the way it sounded. Now on a lot of other masters too, I'll be running my uh, Black Box or my Saturn 2. And a lot of times with those two plugins, I'll make sure that I'm doing more saturation on the high end and not so much on the low end. But I believe on this one, there's not really much that you can do as far as frequency ranges, but uh, you'll go ahead and hear the nice little difference that this makes with some saturation. So without it. These diamonds forever. Driving out Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she must forever. Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up head. I'll call when I'm ready. Pay cash, ain't no credit. So it's very subtle, and actually I don't think I bypassed back and forth on this. So without the EQ, let me go ahead and shut this off. Alright. These diamonds forever. Driving out Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she must forever. Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up head. I'll come when I'm ready. Pay cash, ain't no credit. So if you're noticing along the way, not only are we achieving loudness, but we're also polishing. Like, from bypassing the fab filter uh, back and forth, you're noticing a lot of clarity coming with that. And that's, you know, just by cleaning up the side information a little bit. So it's nice, it's simple. And then this is another one here that I actually added to the chain. So I got my Oxford inflator. Basically what this is is some upward compression. Um, now with that being said, basically instead of with the limiters, you're clamping everything down with a hard ceiling, you're pulling up from the bottom. So I'll go ahead and show you here what it sounds like. Uh, I mean, it's pretty subtle. You don't want to drive it super hard, but uh, I mean, you can if you want to. Depends on the flavor that you're trying to get. So let's go ahead and just kind of feed this in a little bit. These diamonds forever. Driving out Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she must forever. Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up head. I'll call when I'm ready. Pay cash, ain't no credit. I'm in love with this bed. Talk out your ass, it was heaven. Better just call up your reverend. Street turn up board to a man. Pin turn up board to a dean. So if you adjust the curve, if you go up, that goes to your upper mids and highs. And then if you go down, you know, that's going to hit your lower mids and your lows. So sometimes if you're real finicky with the, the sound that you've already accomplished, you can go ahead and just leave that thing in the middle. So I didn't, I didn't mess with that too, too much, but I gave it a little bit of boost. And I could probably push this a little bit harder, but that's going to be okay for now. And let's go ahead and hop in here. We have the uh, master compressor from, I have no idea how to even say that name. It's free, but on a, a lot of other masters too, I will use my UAD G bus compressor, or I got the same one from waves. They do the same thing. Basically what you want to accomplish is a uh, fast release with a slower uh, attack. So that way it's just kind of releasing those transients the way they need to be and you're not fully crushing it. So let's go ahead and uh, hop in here. Basically what we're gonna be wanting this to hit is negative uh, one dB. Typically I don't go over that for my, uh, cause basically what you're wanting here is glue. You wanna glue everything together, make it sound more cohesive and just it's a nice nice polish so let's go ahead and hop in these diamonds forever driving out cleveland stars on the ceiling she must forever heat on the seat down on my feet her booty up head i'll call when i'm ready pay cash ain't no credit i'm in love with this bed one more time these diamonds forever driving out cleveland stars on the ceiling she must forever heat on the seat that one part there is punching it through a little bit too much. So you want to make sure that your peaks are at negative one dB. You don't want that to be your average. These diamonds forever. 
Driving on Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she my Spirelli Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up petty I'll come when I'm ready Alright, so that got it there, I just backed it off just a little bit So let's go back and forth on it Here's without it These diamonds forever Driving on Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she my Spirelli Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up petty I'll come when I'm ready Hey, cash ain't no credit I'm in love with this bed. So I'm liking how that sounds. Sounding nice and glued. Maybe. So if I was going to be making final decisions, um, I would probably back this up just a little bit more. Let's see. These diamonds forever. Driving out Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she must forever. Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up petty. I'll come when I'm ready. Pay cash ain't no credit. I'm in love with this bed. You talking about? These diamonds forever Driving on Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she my Spirelli Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up petty I'll come when I'm ready Pay cash ain't no credit I'm in love with this petty I'm liking how that sounded, it was sounding just a little too, a little too compressed for me there for a second But I kind of backed it off just a touch And I'm liking where that's sitting So then after that, we're going into Soothe and uh, not doing a whole lot on this. I'm doing nothing to the mids. A little boost over here at the, uh, let's see, the 9 kilohertz range. And then another one at the 5K. And uh, got a little low pass way over here at the 20, 20 hertz. And basically all I'm doing with this is, and I believe this is not super far off from the leaving the mid range alone preset. Um, so you can go in there and find that yourself or just go ahead and copy it down, but, uh, not doing too much kind of, I'll just leave this at zero here for a second. And typically that's kind of too much for the master. So I back it off just a touch. Let's go ahead and hear what it sounds like. These diamonds forever. Driving out Cleveland stars on the ceiling. She must forever. Heat on the seat. Down on my feet. Her booty up petty. I'll come when I'm ready. All right, so now without it. These diamonds forever. Driving out Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she must forever. Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up petty. I'll come when I'm ready. So here I was just kind of cleaning up some of those combative frequencies and just kind of soothing everything. This is a very powerful plug-in, and yes, it's kind of pricey. You know, it's just over 200 bucks. I think it's like 210 209 depending on where you're getting it. But, uh... I absolutely love it, and I'm not going to lie, I probably use it um, two times in the mix and once in the uh, in the master. So to me, it's well worth money spent. And then going into our master plan here, go ahead and turn the loudness down. Um, I got the, typically I don't go too crazy on the, on the width, but because I've kind of already done everything else, in the EQ and everything, I don't do too much. I got a little bump there on the low, a uh, slight bump on the highs. And then on the clean, you know, you can kind of just remove a little bit of muddiness if there is any. Granted, I only got this at like 5%. And I don't have anything else engaged. But one very, very important thing is turn your output down to negative uh, 0.5. So with that being said, let's go ahead and uh, just kind of work up the loudness here. First, I'll start with the width. These diamonds forever Driving out Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she must forever Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up petty I'll come when I'm ready Pay cash ain't no credit I'm in love with this bed You talk out your ass, it was heaven Better just call up your reverend Street turn up both to a man so I'm really, really liking how that sounded. It's not too wide to where it's kind of losing some of the mid information or the middle information. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of leave that as is. And one other thing, too, I turn off the true peak limiting. Um, so with that being said, let's go ahead and just turn up the loudness. And what we're going to kind of be looking for is I typically aim from negative 10 loves to negative eight not negative eight it will turn green but sometimes you're pushing it too hard when it gets to that so let's go ahead and just turn it up These
And one thing too, actually, before I start doing that, is you can. I had a guy on the original master plan video that I dropped. Uh, engage Unity. Now, if you engage Unity, you can go ahead and not be fooled by the loudness and turn it up. But do not mix down or bounce your uh, your track with Unity Engage because that will not duplicate that actual loudness over. It'll just duplicate the unity sound so let's go ahead and just leave the unity on we'll kind of turn it up to where it starts to distort and then we'll back it off these diamonds forever driving out clean the stars on the ceiling she must forever heat on the seat down on my feet her booty up head i'll call when i'm ready pay cash ain't no credit i'm in love with this fed you talk out your ass it was heaven better just call up your river streets on the boards on man Pinching a boy to redeem. I woke up, I ate all my weeds. Money is calling O'Geed. So we're hitting negative 10 right there. I'll go ahead and turn the unity off. My dog's walking around on the couch. <laughs> but uh, so I'll go ahead and turn, turn the unity off and uh, let you hear where it's at. Granted, any final decisions that I would like to make in a master is definitely through my monitors. I don't want to make too many decisions when it comes to with the headphones. Granted, you can. But it's nice to bounce back and forth. But as far as actual loudness goes, I like to be on my monitors. Just gives a little bit better feel for me. So I'll go ahead and turn the unity off and we'll see where we at. These diamonds forever. Driving out Cleveland, stars on the ceiling, she must forever. Heat on the seat, down on my feet, her booty up head. I'll call when I'm ready. Pay cash ain't no credit. I'm in love with this fed. So I'm liking where that's sitting. But uh, yeah, man, like this is an absolutely phenomenal mastering chain for me. Um, I might go ahead and actually kind of save this down in like a, uh, a file. And if anybody's interested in it, you can go ahead and DM me on Instagram. At uh, Still, it's currently at TyTy614 or uh, hit my email. I believe that's, I gotta, I'll put all that information in the description below. So if you don't feel like putting it together on your own and you actually want to purchase it, go ahead and just contact me and I can get it sent over to you. Um, I do 15 bucks. So it's up to you. And with that being said, I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you all have a great week and I'm going to catch you next Monday. Hit the comments below. Like, subscribe, share, comment. Help a brother out. I appreciate you. Catch you next week. Peace.